Dear students, in this video we shall see the figure of speech, theme and rhyme scheme of the poem Everest is not the only peak written by V.C. Kulandai Swami, described for grade 11. The theme of this poem is greatness of human virtues. The poet has given the greatness of human virtues from his perspective. There is no particular rhyme scheme used in this poem, so it is called as blank verse. Then let us see the figure of speech used in the first stanza. Anaphora. Anaphora is the repetition of a word or expression at the beginning of successive phrases, clauses, sentences or verses. So you can see in the second and third line, both the lines begin with the same word, R. So, anaphora. Repetition, a word or phrase repeated more than one time to put emphasis. So here you can see that the first line, we are proud and feel so tall has been repeated thrice in the poem. Once in the beginning, then in the middle of the poem and also at the end of the poem. Hence repetition. So alliteration is the occurrence of the same letter or sound at the beginning of adjacent or closely connected words and that too only of the consonant letter or sounds. So here you can see in the third line, whatever B are the alliterated words beginning with the letter W and in the next line, do, devotion and D all begin with the same letter D. Next is enjambment when a line runs on into the next with no stop or pause maintaining the sense. Here you can see that in the second line, our virtues though are few and small, there is no punctuation at the end and continues into the next line. And at the same time, third line also, our nature is that whatever we try, there is no punctuation at the end of the line. So both the lines, the figure of speech used is enjambment. Inversion is inverse placement of the grammatical structure of words in a sentence. A typical case of inversion is when words take unexpected shift against its normal syntactic order which is a deviation from the conventional subject verb object word order. So you all might have been aware of inversion of conditional clauses by this time. In the same way in a line, when the structure is changed, it is called as inversion. So in the first line and second line, we are proud and feel so tall, our virtues though are few and small. The normal structure should have been, we are proud and feel so tall, though our virtues are few and small. So here there has been a change in the order. Our virtues though, hence it is inversion. In the next stanza, inversion is used. In the second line, cringing from others we haven't done. The normal structure should have been we haven't done cringing from others or we haven't cringed from others. Here there is a change in the structure. Cringing from others we haven't done, hence inversion. And in the next line also, to seek again we adore none. The normal structure should have been we adore none to seek again. Here also to seek again we adore none, hence inversion. Cesura. Cesura is a break in line where the reader pauses usually through punctuation. So here in the line you can see defeat we repel. After that there is a punctuation. Kama used, courage are fought. Hence Cesura. Inversion is used in the third stanza also. Never shall we fail in what we commit. The normal structure should have been we shall never fail in what we commit. But never shall we fail is used. There is a change in the structure, hence inversion. Repetition is also used here. In the third line we can see the word V is repeated. And in the fourth line the word nourish is repeated. You can see alliteration also in the stanza. In the first line, deem and duty both beginning with the same letter D. Cesura is also used in this stanza. In the second line you can see there is a punctuation after hold. A semicolon has been used, hence cesura. Metaphor. When one thing is compared to another thing, it equates those two things not because they are actually same but for the sake of comparison or symbolism. Here you can see ours is a part of dignity and honor. In the previous one you can see we live. So we live here that has been taken as ours, our life. Our life is compared to part of dignity and honor hence comparison made and it is metaphor. Let us see the alliterated words here. In the first line proud position both beginning with the same letter P. In the third line, we, we, both beginning with the same letter W. And in the fifth line, nose, kneeling, both beginning with the same sound, N, K, N. Enjambment is also used in this stanza. In the first line, you can see, we are proud of the position B. After that, there is no punctuation and it continues into the next line, we hold. Hence, enjambment. In the last stanza, let us see inversion first. In the third line, the height you reach is not that we care. The normal structure should have been, we do not care the height you reach. But there is an inversion made, the height you reach is not that we care, hence inversion. Cesura is used in this stanza also. In the fourth line you can see there is a punctuation after he. 
who does not stoop after that also there is a punctuation hence cesura and in the line honor is a property there is a punctuation after that common to all hence cesura and in the next line also in dignity and pride after that there is a punctuation comma used no one needs to be poor hence cesura metaphor metaphor is used in the fourth line he who does not stoop is a king so a normal man who does not stoop is compared to a king hence metaphor or really the ladder for the rise of man here the people who help in the development of the society are called as ladder so they are compared to ladder hence metaphor honor is a property honor is compared to property hence metaphor enjambment the ones that are true and stand on their own after that there is no punctuation in the line and it continues into the next line or really the ladder for the rise of man and personification it is a figure of speech in which an idea or thing is given human attributes and or feelings or is spoken of as if it were human so here we bow before competence and merit competence and merit are compared to human beings because we bow before them hence it is personification dear students i hope you would have understood all the figure of speech used in this poem do subscribe my channel for new updates and also watch my older videos if you like this video click the like button and share with your friends thank you happy learning